How's it going everybody? Sick Eric back again with another video. So we all know LG is leaving the smartphone industry and I decided to do a little tribute to them and made a video of all these little clips of all the LG devices that I have reviewed on this channel. Uh, keep in mind this is a long one so grab your popcorn and drinks and snacks and whatnot and enjoy. Uh, these are little clips of unboxings and you know my first video on this channel uh, of the LG V20 which was the first device I ever reviewed on here so mind the quality and all of that this was back when I didn't know what the hell I was doing I still don't know what I'm doing so enjoy RIP LG this is for you enjoy further apart but uh, it still works really really nice um, you got your speaker up top um, it's really really a nice phone I'm liking it it's very snappy uh, the only thing I have a gripe about is the build quality maybe uh, it feels like a unibody phone which is nice but once you take this cover off and take the battery out it just feels really really flimsy and very very light um, like I feel like if you were to sit on this phone or if you bend it the cover pops off a little bit right about on this corner I don't know if it's just the locking mechanism or what but uh, the back is a aluminum it's made out of like a aircraft aluminum the tops are plastic I guess to absorb uh, shocks a little bit nicer uh, this thing has a military grade like drop resistant thing going for it it's not water resistant or dust resistant which the note 7 was it's the only thing lacking um another cool feature you have is this one of the first phones to come out this year out of the box that is running android 7.0 nougat which is really nice i believe the google pixel is going to be the other one which has 7.1 nougat on it but that's a really really cool feature um a lot of the cool features it has is uh when you double tap the recent recent menu you could go between the last app you've gone and the recent app and it'll sort of flick through them all it's a very very nice feature uh the camera it's got a really really nice camera sometimes it could be a little bit washed out I guess it just depends on how well you have your lens clean but um, as far as compared to the Galaxy Note 7 it's doing okay I haven't tested it out fully yet but um, it's got a nice camera um, on the top you have your little secondary ticker your secondary screen as you could call it you have your root apps that you can set up here uh, recent app settings you can jump through all of that stuff really really quickly and nicely without even having to go to your app drawer or anything it'll jump with a another video it's the LG V10 versus the LG V20 should you upgrade that is the question um, we're just gonna go over some quick comparisons as far as the two go um, details as far as you know processor wise camera wise build wise you know stuff like that just uh, try to get you to see if you should upgrade or if you should just, just stay with the LG V10 personally I think you should upgrade but uh, let's just go over the reasons um, as you can see they're both very different phones they're built very differently um, as far as build quality size wise they are pretty much almost the same size with the LG coming in a little LG V20 coming in a little bit taller width wise they're pretty much about the same and um, other than that LG V10 I give it that it's a little bit more heavier than the LG V20 as far as build quality wise it's got better material you know with the steel rails to adds a lot of weight to it and durability uh, the V20 still still feels great in the hands very slim um, 
Other than that, this is just a little quick comparison between the two. Very two different design uh, choices they made with them. And uh, we're just gonna go over the difference between the two phones. Uh, the LG V10 is last year's model. Uh, it's got Android 6.0 Marshmallow and the UI is Optimus UI on it, which is, it was okay. I didn't really care for it that much. I didn't really care for the toggles and how they looked. They look too big and bulky and you can't really change them. Um, it's military grade certified, A10 certified. It's got like a material wise, it's a plastic with a deer skin coating on it with stainless steel on the sides. Pre-ordered it on the 5th when it went for a pre-order for T-Mobile. And let's go ahead and get started. There's some of the text on the back. Check it out. T-Mobile version, like I said. Let's go ahead and crack it open. See what comes in the box. I know it's not much, but let's go ahead and check it out anyways. And check out the phone. Of course, as you can see, it comes with a LG cleaning clock. Right there. So you can clean all the fingerprints off your phone. And you get the phone itself. Is pretty light. Probably feels a little bit lighter than the Galaxy S8 Plus. And there's the phone itself, so that side. And of course, you get all your uh, packaging stuff, your manuals, SIM injection tool, welcome start guide, terms, stuff like that. Typical shit inside the little package pack sim card don't need that information the charger brick and there is nothing else in the package so let's go ahead and take this sleeve off and then we'll turn it on and i'll show you guys how much storage is on the t-mobile version the lg830 run through the uh, specs really quick, I mean the uh, startup menu really quick, and here is the phone, and I have to say it does look really really nice, I like the finish on this phone better than the Galaxy S8 Plus, just sort of a dotted texture behind the glass for the finish, but it's not as extreme, it's very very fine, it looks a little bit smoother than the Galaxy S8. The S8 Plus. So let's go ahead and turn her on. It's in between the LG G6 and the LG V30. Uh, just thought I'd do a little comparison between the two. I know this is an older phone, but it is technically a little brother of the LG series. And uh, let's go ahead and dive down into it. Uh, let's talk about screen sizes. Go ahead and up the brightness a little bit so you can see. We're a little bit outside, I apologize for the wind. But as far as the screen size goes, uh, the LG V30, as we all know, is a six inch P OLED display. Uh, it's got like about an 81% screen to body ratio. And it's, it is a 1440 by 2880 uh, display. It's got 537 pixels per inch. And it is 18 by 9 aspect ratio, supports Dolby Vision, HDR10, and it also has your always on display, you can see right there. Uh, going over to the G6, uh, the G6 has a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display. Uh, it's about a 78% screen to body ratio. Uh, it also is a 1440 by 2880. Uh, display it's got 564 pixels per inch still a beautiful screen uh, but it's just an IPS LCD display it also has the 18 by 9 ratio one of the first phones to come out with that aspect ratio that so that is pretty cool uh, it always it, uh, it all excuse me it also has an always on display although it is a little bit dimmer than the LG V30 uh, go ahead and talk about the size comparisons 
both phones are almost the same size with the V30 coming in um, a little bit wider and bigger. The V30 is um, 151.7 millimeters tall. Uh, it is 75.4 centimeters wide and 7.4 centimeters thick and it weighs about 158 grams which is about 5.57 ounces while the g6 over here is 148.9 tall 71.9 wide 7.9 thick so it's a little thicker than the v30 um, and it has, weighs about 163 grams uh, which is 5.7 five ounces so it's a little bit heavier than the v30 and a little bit thicker yet it is smaller i guess just the display and the batteries are the same so i don't understand it's probably just thicker and heavier because of the display they both got corning gorilla glass five on the front and on the back the v30 is running uh android 7.1.2 nougat uh the snapdragon 835 four gigs of ram adreno 540 gpu 64 gigs of expandable storage. Well, on the G6, you get the Raspberry Rose, but I felt like it looked a little too pinkish, especially along the frame. So I just went ahead and got the, ras the, the gray version. Of course, you get your little LG cloth. They started doing this back in with the uh, LG V30. Really nice cloth. I lost my other one that I had. And then along the top, you're gonna get the phone and you got some stuff up here super bright display go up to a thousand nits at a touch of a button um, AI camera which also uses Google and boombox speaker there's a bottom firing speaker but he uses the phone's internals as a resonance chamber and then your Google assistant key which is a lot better than a Bixby key in my opinion so let's go ahead and set the phone aside and then in the packaging, you get some stickers, your LG second year promise, as you can see right there. You got to register your device within 90 days of visiting lgpromise.com by visiting lgpromise.com. And a pretty much two year warranty on your device. Pretty good, pretty good. And you get all your package, you know, your warranty, your booklets and shit, your, your SIM injector tool. Nobody reads instructions for a book for a phone. I can't remember the last time I read instructions for a phone. So, throw aside your SIM card from T-Mobile. And you got your charger cable, white. They need to start including black ones. Come on, LG, catch up with the times. And your fast charging wireless, I mean your fast charging um, brick wall adapter so let's go ahead and check out the device let's peel this off I'm excited for this phone I really enjoyed the LG V30 I just did not like certain things about it like the front facing camera was horrible and this is the platinum gray I already got smudges all over it with damn stickers but it comes off so you're all good you got your Charger port at the bottom, headphone jet, quad DAC on board, nice, nice, nice. Microphone, your speaker, which is your boombox speaker. Along the uh, left hand side, you got your Google key, volume up and down buttons, they are separate. Up top, you got your micro SD card tray and SIM card tray, along with another mic. Some antenna lines. Along the right hand side, you got your power button. On the back, you got your flash, your laser focus, and your sensors, and your fingerprint sensor, which no longer powers as a, which no longer doubles as a power button. So let's go ahead and power it on. Did we get it? There we go. So I'm gonna power it on, go through the setup, and then we'll be right back to show you the uh, storage. So we are back, went ahead and went through all these setup settings and here is the device. So we're going to go ahead and go into uh, storage, which should be under general, I believe. 
So and today we're going to be going over a quick comparison between the LG G6 and the LG G7. Two great devices. You can get the LG G6 for really cheap now and it still is a strong uh, device. It may not be as fast and snappy as the LG G7, but it does get the job done for all you people who are just normal, average phone users. This is a great device for you. If you're a powerhouse power user, G7 is for you. Um, let's go ahead and jump down into it. G6 was released a little over a year ago. Uh, it sort of introduced the whole 18 by 9 aspect ratio uh, for phone companies right now. LG was one of the first ones to do that. So let's go ahead and get started with display wise. Uh, you get a 5.7 inch IPS LCD display over here on the G6 with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It's got a resolution of 2880 by 1440. It is covered in Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and it supports Dolby Vision and HDR10. And you also have your always on display as you can see right there. Really good display. These are great, excellent displays considering that they are LCD. Over here on the G7, you get a 6.1 inch IPS LCD display with a 19.59 by 9 aspect ratio, uh, which means it's a bit taller. And you got a resolution of 1440 by 3120. So it's got a higher resolution. Uh, the displays are a little bit different. You have regular RGB display over here on the G6, while on the G7, you get a RG. BW type display which means there's an extra white pixel in there to uh, sort of up the brightness so this phone does get a lot brighter than the G6 does as you can see the G6 is all the way up in brightness and the G7 just gets a lot brighter because of those white pixels and I personally like the whites better over here they are just a lot brighter and a lot punchier uh, the blacks I wish I could say the same about the blacks they're not as deep and inky as but yeah I'm very very excited this is the phone I originally wanted but like I said when it first came out it was too expensive so the first thing you're greeted with is the cleaning cloth they started doing this I believe with the uh, V30 if I'm not mistaken so that's a nice touch then you got the device up top on the back you have the Two year warranty, second year promise on the back stuck to it. Let's go ahead and set the phone aside. SIM card, of course, this is T Mobile version. Uh, you got all your booklets and stuff in here, which we all know we do not take a look at that. You got your SIM card ejection tool, welcome start guide, and warranty info up as usual you got your charger brick this is a fast charging brick it looks like they changed it a little bit as far as the color goes it's more of a matte finish it used to be that shiny white color but they changed some headphones or something since this does have a really good audio dat but it is what it is like I said we're here we're after the phone not the shit inside the box I just wish they would add a little bit more. So let's go ahead and get the phone out of its plastic covering and all of these stickers off. Now this phone, as you can see right there, in the light, it does have a bluish tint to it. It feels really, really nice in the hands, actually. It's big, but it's still comfortable. It's not heavy, but it feels really, really nice in the hand. As you can see the three cameras. This phone, also an advantage towards the OnePlus 6. This has two extra cameras on it. It's got three in the back and two in the front, as you can see right there. And of course, like I said, micro uh, headphone jack at the bottom. Your speaker, um, USB Type-C. Fingerprint sensor is on the back, so there's no in-display fingerprint sensor. You got your uh, volume rockers over here on the left-hand side along with your Google Assistant button. You got your power button over here. Uh, along the top, you got a microphone. And along the right-hand side, you also have your SD card slot along with your SIM card slot. So let's go ahead and boot it up. I'll be right back, set it up. 
and I'll show you guys the amount of storage is on here and any apps that are on there as well. Stay tuned. All right, so we're back after setting everything up. Um, unfortunately, I did have a system update uh, available for this device, but luckily for you guys, this only takes like no time at all because of movie magic. But it took me about 20 minutes to get everything set up and to download the uh, update. So this is the LG uh, V40. Let's go ahead and jump into settings and I'll show you guys the uh, storage as far as what is being used and there is 17 gigs being and then uh stuff in the bottom qualcomm dtsx blah 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 meridian shit like that there's really not much on here lg is very very simple with their packaging it kind of pisses me off that they don't include fancy stuff like samsung you know so let's get this done and over with and then we'll do a first impressions set up the device show you guys um, a walk around, walk through of the device. So, and of course, you're greeted by your cloth. Typical stuff LG has been throwing in there. On top, you got the phone, air motion, hand ID, crystal sound OLED, which means the, dis the sound comes from the display, which is pretty cool. And Google Assistant button. So far, it feels really nice in the hand. Really, really heavy. A lot more heavier than the uh, V40. Let's go ahead and set that aside. Now this is the T-Mobile variant. Six gigabyte, 128 gigs. Same and you got your charger brick. Same one that came with the V40, obviously. Specs right there if you guys want to check it out. And your USB to USB type C charging cable. Like I said, no headphones. One day LG will include some high quality headphones on their carrier versions but lg g8 we're just going to call it the g8 they're calling it thin q and let's go ahead and slide it out of here we're going to peel this off and here is the device so it feels really really nice in the hand it has some weight to it sort of reminds me of the galaxy s9 plus of course it does have the same battery as the S9 Plus, it's a 3500 milliamp hour. So, let's go. so, wow, this is a beautiful color. I don't know if you guys can check that out, but this is just gorgeous. This red, carmine red on the LG G8 is absolutely gorgeous. You got your frame that's red as well. Let's see if we can zoom in focus here so yeah really really nice carmine red on the LG G8 so it feels really nice in the hand feels a little bit thick but it has it just has nice feelings in the hand so let's go ahead and power it on same button layout as the LG V40 the buttons don't stick out as much they're a little bit flush but that's okay they still feel really nice. Like I said, this is the T-Mobile uh, variant. So let's go ahead and get down some specs. This is running the Snapdragon 855 with six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. You do have micro SD card expansion on the side. So that is really, really nice. This is also your SIM tray. On the right hand side, you have your power button. As you can see right there. We can get this to focus. You got your power button. Up top, you have a microphone with some antenna bands. On the left hand side, you have your volume rockers, your Google Assistant button, and this hole right here apparently is for uh, air pressure for the camera for some reason. It's not a mic because the cameras sit flush on the uh, underneath the phone. Apparently, this is a uh, controls air pressure with the cameras moving around in there that's what I would that's what I heard a couple antenna bands over here on the bottom you got USB type C a microphone your headphone jack with the infamous quad back on LG 32-bit and then your speaker grill and then you also have some antenna bands as here at the bottom on the back of the device let's see if we can get this to focus on the back of the device, you got your LG branding 
your G8 logo. A fingerprint sensor, which is nice, it's on the back. And then your cameras, um, your regular wide angle and your regular sensor with the flash. So that is really, really cool that there is no camera bump for the cameras. LG V60, because that's a long ass name. And this is the official uh, packaging that comes from T-Mobile. And uh, surprisingly enough, there is no T-Mobile on his outer sleeve, but this is the official packaging. It's going to come in if you ordered it from T-Mobile. I went ahead and wiped this box down with some sanitizing wipes just to be safe. And the box that it came in, I handled that with gloves. You cannot be too careful. Uh, think about all the uh, shipping, shipping stuff you get, you know, boxes and packages you get. Be safe with those, handle them safely, and you should be okay. Here we go, the LG V60 5G. You got eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, Snapdragon 865 5G chip in here, 6.88 inch display. So this is a huge phone comparable to the Samsung S20 Ultra. So this is a beast of a phone, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is just insane. Uh, really really good specs you got two cameras on the back one main sensor uh one uh which is the main sensor is 64 uh, megapixels and then the other sensor is your ultra wide and then you also have time of flight sensors on the back as well so you get your cleaning cloth right on top so i have quite a few of these i'm gonna toss that aside and then here is the device itself wrapped in plastic and honestly i'm very very excited like i said it does not feel too big of a chunker actually it's really slim so let's go ahead and set that aside let's go ahead and take a look at the device really quick before we open the dual charger on here got a lot of dirt on his desk probably should clean his desk every now and then uh, take the tape off go now this is like i said classy blue color uh, the way T-Mobile did it is they sell the device by itself for $7.99 and you could get it in what classy white and classy blue. If you buy the bundled set with the dual screen, it is only the classy blue. Yeah, I don't know why they did that, but they did do that. And man, this thing is beautiful. Really, really nice. Hopefully you guys can see that really really excellent looking device it looks a little bit more blue i'm assuming on the camera that you guys are seeing but it is a little bit more of a darker like a khaki blue i guess if makes if that makes any sense so a little bit quick of a rock walk around fingerprint sensor is underneath the display it's gonna be my first time using a device from lg with an end screen fingerprint sensor so that's gonna be pretty interesting Uh, they decided to leave it 
out on here so you will not be getting that hi-fi audio from that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. You still have the option to plug in some headphones if you want to. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Now this display, I believe it's a uh, 6.6 inch display. Very large display, same display size as you get on the V60. So the only difference is that this is curved. So really, really excellent feeling phone in the hand. And this white on the back uh, does not have a little bit of a pink shine to it, but it's a really, really nice white on there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really, really nice white. Um, on here, not really a metallic white, but it sort of has like iridescent shine underneath. Really, really nice. It doesn't feel like glass, but it is glass in the back, uh, which is really, really nice. So let's go ahead and take a quick walk around. You do get your uh, 48 megapixel uh, rear facing camera, and then you got your 8 megapixel, and then your uh, 5 megapixel on your 8 megapixel. Wide, you get your flash, really, really nice camera design right there. Let's go ahead and put the sticker off, shall we? Put that aside. So, yeah, the back is glass, so that's really good. And then the uh, sides are aluminum. Up front, you do get your camera as well with that little notch cut out. On the left hand side, you get your Google Assistant button and your volume button as well. And then on the right hand side, you do get your power button on there. So let's go ahead and power it on, see if it's got any juice. At the bottom, you do get your headphone jack, USB Type C, a microphone, and your speaker. Uh, you do have stereo speakers on here, so that's really, really good. This phone goes for $588. And it has a glass back, has stereo speakers, and it has a headphone jack. So, really, really nice. Uh, design there so let's put these stickers off of the top the LG included to protect it from the box are how the video is 4k 60 LG wing very very exciting how's it going YouTube sick Eric back again with another video illusion sky color which they label it the uh, blue kit really really nice I'm very excited about this like I said check this out if you're is here if you wait you could get this for a very good price and I did wait and I got this at $696 well $700 so really really nice let's go ahead and check out what comes in the box shall we we're at the park and there is a little airport that's like right by and it's pretty cool normally but when you're doing video it's kind of annoying so let's go ahead and see what comes in here LG wing First of all, you are greeted with the device up top. Now it is a hefty phone. Pretty heavy, probably about the same as the Note 20 Ultra. The Note 20 Ultra is a bit lighter, but size-wise it's about the same. And look at that, you get a charger. I believe this is a 25 watt fast charger in the box. Wow. Take a look at this Apple and Samsung. And you also get a I wish there were headphones, but fortunately no headphones. You get a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter dongle because there is no headphone jack. Unfortunately, LG left out the headphone. It has come to this. Yes, LG, the kings of quad decks and headphones, does not have a headphone jack on the LG wing. But that is quite all right. It's because of the innovation here with this swiveling screen. So really, really nice. Let's go ahead and take this plastic off. 
and take a look at the device, shall we? Let's go ahead and put all this stuff back in the box. That way it doesn't blow away. Here's the device, really, really nice. This is the Illusion Sky Color, glass back. Beautiful, beautiful color. Let's take this damn sticker off too. Why do you include these? I do not know. Really, really excellent looking color. Man, this thing looks gorgeous. Another airplane going by. All right, so now here we're gonna go ahead and set up the uh, fingerprint sensor. And you just pretty much just lift, hold to get your fingerprint. Cover the entire sensor. Now LG's fingerprint in display fingerprint sensors are a bit slower than usual in other devices, like OnePlus is the fastest, Samsung's pretty good. LG, they're still a little bit behind with the uh, fingerprint centers on their devices. So now we're gonna get the edges and hopefully we are done. So I'm just gonna add one for now and we're going through the setup, but everything is going to be nice and quick for you guys just because, uh, what the hell is this? Uh, I am 16 years or older. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Accept. Blah, blah, blah. Done. So now we're going to go ahead and get into the device. So really, really nice. This thing feels beautiful. Like, I cannot get over how well this thing is. You know, being for what it is, a flip phone, it's really not that much thicker than a normal device. It's very sleek and slim. So the aspect ratio is really nice. You got three cameras on the back. You got a 64 megapixel main sensor, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, which is going to be the gimbal camera, which pretty much means that it's an ultra wide camera, camera, but it is cropped in a little bit. So when you, you know, sort of go side by side, 